There are around 5 liters of blood circulating inside the average human adult body. The organ system that helps the blood to circulate inside your body is the circulatory system. The circulatory system is also called the cardiovascular system. Cardio means heart and vascular refers to blood vessels. The circulatory system helps circulate blood throughout the body. The functions of the circulatory system are to transport oxygen and nutrients to the body cells and to carry the oxygenated or oxygen-poor blood and carbon dioxide back to the heart and lungs. The major parts of the circulatory system are the heart, the blood, and the blood vessels. The heart. The heart is the main organ of the circulatory system. It is a hollow muscular organ about the size of your fist located in the center of your chest between the lungs. It pumps the blood throughout the body. Generally, your blood circulates from your heart throughout your body and back to your heart about every 60 seconds. The blood. The blood is a tissue made of fluid, cells, and fragments of cells. The fluid or the flowing portion of the blood is termed plasma. Plasma is a straw-colored fluid and makes up about 55% of the total volume of blood. Red and white blood cells and platelets are suspended in plasma. The blood vessels The blood vessels are tubulary structures that transport blood throughout the body. The three types of blood vessels are arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries Arteries carry oxygenated or oxygen-rich blood away from the heart towards the cells, tissues, and organs of the body. In your body, oxygen-rich blood has a bright red color. Veins Veins carry the oxygenated or oxygen-poor blood from the rest of the body back to the heart. In your body, oxygen-poor blood has a darker red color. Capillaries The smallest blood vessels in the body connecting the smallest arteries to the smallest veins. They are the actual site where gases and nutrients are exchanged. There are three types of circulation. The first is the pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation is the movement of blood between the heart and the lungs. The main function of this circulation is to carry the oxygenated or oxygen-poor blood to the lungs where it exchanges carbon dioxide for oxygen and carries oxygenated or oxygen-rich blood back to the heart. The second circulation is coronary circulation. Coronary circulation is the movement of blood throughout the tissues of the heart. The main function is to supply blood to the heart and remove blood from the heart. The third circulation is systemic circulation. Systemic circulation is the movement of blood from the heart to the rest of the body, excluding the lungs. 
The main function of this circulation is to carry oxygenated blood to all cells and transport the oxygenated blood back to the heart. Blood flow through the heart. The human heart. The human heart has four chambers which are the two ventricles and two atria. Atria is the plural form of atrium. The right and left atriums which are the upper chambers are the receiving chambers of the heart. The right atrium accepts blood from the body while the left atrium accepts blood from the lungs. On the other hand, the lower chambers are the right and left ventricles, which are the pumping chambers that force blood out of the heart. The right ventricle moves the blood to the lungs, while the left ventricle moves the blood into the body. The right ventricle has a thin wall because it only needs to pump the blood around the lungs at low pressure. While the left ventricle has a much thicker wall because it generates the high pressure needed to push blood to the head and body. There is a valve between each atrium and ventricle to prevent the blood from flowing backward. The valves which are the tricuspid valve between the right atrium and right ventricles and mitral or bicuspid valve between the left atrium and the left ventricles are like one-way doors that keep the blood moving in only one direction. The left and right chambers are separated by a wall of muscle called septum to prevent the mixing of the oxygenated and the oxygenated blood. The flow of the oxygenated blood The oxygenated blood comes from the different parts of the body towards the heart. This is what happened during the flow of the oxygenated blood. The right atrium receives the oxygenated blood from the other parts of the body through the vena cava. The superior vena cava, a large veins, returns blood to the heart from the head, neck, and both upper limbs. While the inferior vena cava returns blood to the heart from the lower parts of the body. The oxygenated blood moves from the right atrium to the right ventricle to the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle pumps the blood to the main pulmonary artery which connects to the lungs. The flow of oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood comes from the lungs towards the heart. The left atrium receives the oxygenated blood from the lungs through the pulmonary vein. The blood moves to the left ventricle through the mitral valve and to the arta through the arctic valve. The arta is the main artery that transports blood away from the heart.